thank you all for joining us today. We have a handful of people also watching with us here on the live stream on a couple of the different platforms. So we will have this opened up for everybody. If you guys do want to ask any questions at all, we do encourage that, but just put it in the chat for us when you have a question along the way. And then we'll have a little segment of time at the end as well here for questions and answers and that fun stuff. But if there is something that jumps out, uh, definitely do that. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mark David. And I also have a couple of our fantastic team members joining us here today. I don't know if you guys want to unmute yourself, Anita and Amanda. Good morning, Amanda. <laughs> and Anita. Hi, everyone. I'm Anita. I'm Mark's partner. I'm a loan officer. Amanda is our Girl Friday. She is our administrative assistant, and she's the heartbeat behind our team. And you probably all know the Baconator, Mark David, loan officer, team captain extraordinaire. We let him live today. So super happy you could join us. And again, for those of you that had been previously planning on attending our live event, sorry for the change with the venue. We had to make the adjustment here to do it on Zoom. So you guys get to do it in the comfort of your own home today or wherever you are for that matter. We will be still, as when we do our live events, we always are big on like giving away prizes and trying to make it be fun. So we are going to do that. So I'm going to share with you guys how you can be included in the prize giveaway. We'll get rocking and rolling here. But just to kind of start off with the topic that we're doing today is attracting more property investor clients or just solutions for property investors in general. So that really encompasses a lot of different areas is what we're going to touch on. So our, our platform as a direct lender, which we're going to share with you guys a little bit more here as we go on, it allows us to have a lot of different resources to help either yourself directly or clients of yours or people within your network. And we have some really cool tools that we'll dive into on that. Now with that being said, just a real quick additional welcome about myself. I have been a direct lender for many years, myself personally over 20 years, and my other counterparts here also similar to myself. So we know the insides and outs of a lot of these different programs in reference to helping lots and lots of clients, whether they're, again, buyers, sellers and other people, even yourselves. Let's do this here. Bear with me with the technology. We are recording this today. So if you guys do want to watch it later on or share it with anybody, we do highly encourage that. And if you are watching this on our YouTube channel, we have to do the little like, subscribe and share <laughs> comments. <laughs> so with that being said, again, welcome. And here is are the details of how to be included in the prizes that we have that we're giving away. Just text us your name and home address and email to the 262-383-4454. I think we have it in the chat as well. So definitely do that. And we have some cool prizes. Some of the prizes that we're going to be giving away are some lunch gift certificates since those of you that were planning on attending our live event would have normally gotten a free lunch today. We'll make sure we hook you up with that. All right. Today's market that we're currently experiencing, what are the challenges that we have going on? Of course, the biggest one that we're seeing is sellers are concerned about selling. So for those of you that are on here that you know normally work with a lot of listing clients, that is a challenge, right? You're going into a listing appointment or just in conversation with your social networks and they are hesitant on selling because they say, hey, I have a two or 3% interest rate. Why in the world would I sell my real estate and move into a home and have a cost of my money of five or six or more percent because of the volatility in the markets with the interest rates? So that's creating a hesitancy for the sellers to want to sell. And we're going to touch on some ways to 
overcome that op obstacle and make it be more of an opportunity for you to help you get more listing clients, but also turning those listing clients potentially into property investors. The higher rates also have taken a toll on the buyer pool. There are fewer people that want to buy because they're worried about the cost of the money. The payments obviously are more today than what they were a little over a year ago because of that change too. So the property investors are a little less impacted by the change in the cost of the interest rates because they're factoring in that rate of return versus just a flat out expense to them. We're also seeing builders being a little bit hesitant on new construction even. So they're worried about, hey, if this spec home that I'm putting up is now going to cost me more money, do I want to be building as many spec homes? So we have seen a retractment, a retractment of new home starts from builders in the last 12 months. And the reason though is because normally when you have a change in the cost of money, you're going to also then have a potential that could value scale back at all, or do they have to offer constant incentives? So that is one of the reasons we've come up with a couple of special programs to help with that as well too. And we'll talk about that later on here as far as how there's special incentive programs that we've put through. Overall, this is causing people to make changes in how they're doing or investing in different things in when it comes to how to get a better rate of return. If you follow, obviously, your other opportunities for getting a rate of return, investing in stocks and people are investing in crypto or hard asset types of gold, silver type of options, all of this is correlated to inflation and all the different dynamics that everybody is dealing through. So this is a reason why property investors are a great target to be working through in the 2023 market. Now, a lot of people that currently own real estate are sitting on high levels of equity. And there's a lot of great tools that we can put into place with our lending solutions and creative options to leverage that equity a lot more effectively. The other thing that's creating a concern for people with why they would want to go towards property investors more so is the possibility that some capital gains laws might be changing. So we're seeing some different shifting of people wanting to sell real estate and buy real estate because of that dynamic too. We're going to talk with one of our strategies here in a little bit about how to convert that everyday person that is, ah, I own a house now, I like it, but like how you could take that person and show them how to leverage and maximize that block of money that's trapped inside of their house right now, that equity position, and get that capital gains gain by selling it and now splitting that up and leveraging it with a leveraging strategy that we'll talk about in a little bit here. Overall, people are just in a mindset that is a lot different today than what they were in the past. Again, we're going to talk here on some of these different strategies, the leveraging strategies that we have put in place for clients currently that have helped a lot of other agents and individuals get a better rate of return and creating wealth for themselves in today's real estate market. Uh, we do work with investors of all scale. We have some clients that this is their first investment property that we're helping them on, but we also have clients that we've helped them grow a portfolio. Some of them have portfolios that are quite sizable. Some have literally hundreds of units and $20, $30 million portfolios. We also work with commercial clients. We work with developers, builders. We work with a lot of different clientele that, again, the core emphasis here is building wealth for that individual or that company to get a rate of return. So I just want to talk a little bit about some of the different loan or leveraging options. Now, the first one that people usually gravitate to when they think about investing and um, one of the options that I don't have on here is people think about, hey, I have this massive chunk of cash and I am going to just buy an investment property with cash. From a wealth building and leveraging standpoint, 
we all know you would want to take that and maximize it. So that's where us as the lenders come in. So we usually like to put together a strategy where if you have some capital to work with, let's take that and maybe buy multiple properties. And now you're leveraging it through some of our different le lending solutions. The first lending solution most of the time is the go-to option is a conventional type of loan program. We'll talk in more detail about this in a little bit, but that's something that is pretty commonplace of an option. We also have a program that I'll dive into more called the PLS program. That's a private label securities. That is an internal program that we have ourselves. The DSCR debt service cover ratio program will dive into more bridging strategies, fix and flip or hard money programs that we do, and bank statement programs. Another one that not everybody is aware of that we're going to talk a little bit more commercial financing, which we have some collaborations on, and then also some of our in-house proprietary programs. And one of them that we're going to feature today is the all-in-one program. So the private label security program, like what is it? Why did we create this? So what the private label security program is not a security system. No, nope, it's actually a method of lending. If you're familiar with conventional loans, those are actually a security backed by a couple of government agencies called Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So they take them, they get money from investors, which a lot of times are institutional investors, and they have a rate of return that's computed into the actual end interest rate that the consumer is taking out. Back about a year ago, the government and those agencies, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they changed around the requirements on property investor loans and second home loans. And they made a pretty drastic changes. So we came out with our own program, CMG Home Loans, our parent company. We have our own capital markets division. And so we have created our own securitization system where we're creating bonds for investors, accredited investors, and getting them a rate of return. So we have this, and that's essentially now providing us options to our clients and yours that would be able to have more solutions for like second homes and investors. This also correlates into, again, just depends on the pro profile, but it can give us some expanded guidelines. I have some examples here with this. We use it on second homes, single family properties, all the way up to four units. We can use it on scenarios that might be a little bit outside of the regular agency options and go up to higher loan limits. So like I have a, the example on the screen, it can go up to almost $2 million on there. There are some extra requirements though, as far as interest rates, or I'm sorry, the credit scores, debt to income ratios, and then reserve requirements with this program. Cause it is on average, usually saving some money to the clients on this. That, let me see here, stuck on there brings us into the next program to feature, uh, which is called the DSCR programs. Any of you that, again, have questions along the way, please put it in the chat box, but, and we'll answer them as we go along. The DSCR programs, which is debt service covered ratio program. If you're familiar with commercial lending, it's a very similar concept, but they've now created a securitization on these too. So, we do the DSCR programs through some of our internal programs and also our external partners as well. But this is a program that allows there to be less documentation about the individual and focus more on the property. So we're wanting to see that the property itself can cash flow at a certain rate of return. And with how we have ours set up, it's pretty aggressive compared to in compared to commercial lending. So we actually partner with a lot of local community banks that are sending us their commercial lending clients that they cannot meet the debt service racial requirements of that local institution. We can be more aggressive on it. So that's what's very powerful about that. Now, I'll give you some quick examples here in a moment, but it, it really can help a lot, like I said, on the person that has a limited amount of documentation. Give you a quick 
example of that would be one of our clients. He he did a couple of flips within the last couple of years. He now made a really good chunk of money. He has a good credit score. And over the last approximately year or so, he's been able to go from really not owning a whole lot of real estate to almost owning close to $2 million in real estate because of programs like this. His tax returns literally show that he made $10,000 over the last couple of years prior to investing more into real estate. So that is where that can be very powerful. And that's the type of profile of somebody that could be helped. I'll give a couple examples here. Was there a question I think I saw? Yeah. Does the loan to value include the rental income mark? Yeah. So it's talking about the rental income is what they're going off of. And depending on the composition of the property will make a difference on like how much the person would need down, what debt service ratio would be expected. The pro the property type, it does need to be an income generating property. So an investment property, either long-term hold or short-term hold. So if we're talking, we help a lot of clients in throughout Wisconsin, but many of them are vacation owners. They're buying a property on a lake somewhere in Wisconsin. For those of you on here that haven't checked out our Facebook group, Buy Wisconsin Lake Homes, we feature a lot of waterfront properties all over Wisconsin. And many of our clients that come from that group are buying properties to do short-term rentals. So what we'll do on those for the DSCR program is we'll look at, okay, if it's bringing in, I'm just going to use simple numbers. If it's bringing in, let's just say, um, $750 $750 a month in rent, but the payment is $1,000. That means the debt service ratio is at 0.75. And that can be done within this program. As you can see on the screen, single family units, up to two unit, up to eight units. The eight unit properties, just as a side note, as we go up in units, it might require other requirements for the debt service ratio. And the down payment amounts usually on these usually start off at 25% down, just as a side note. Again, keep in mind on the risk scale, these are a little bit more risky because we are not looking at much documentation. We're usually just confirming where the down payment is, that the person has a reasonable credit score. We can go down to credit scores, I think, you know, on this, depending on the down payment part of it, but as much as or as low as like a 630, 640 credit score can be possible. Condos are acceptable and even non-warrantable condos can be done. And condo tells, we have clients that we do condo tells like in areas around Wisconsin, like in Lake Geneva or Wisconsin Dells, very common, Door County. Door County has a lot of condo tells that we'll use this program on. For the short-term rental income, as far as like, how do we determine what the rent is in order to qualify the person? We're using various methods. Usually it's the appraiser is doing a forecast of what the rents will be on that property. We just closed on a client of ours, kind of a little in the middle of Northern Wisconsin that we used the platform called AirDNA. So that's basically forecasting short-term rentals on there. And that's what we used to approve them in terms of that piece of it. These can be closed in an LLC. So that is unique compared to conventional lending, which we'll talk about in a minute. But the only, the one requirement though about the LLCs is the owners of the LLC all have to be part of the transaction. So if it is a situation where there's expanded owners that we might have different requirements about, like if they're doing any kind of syndication or ownership, we have other methods of how to do fractional ownership or syndication options. These do allow, or we can allow 10 properties to be owned just as DSCRs, in addition to, let's say the person does own 10 already on the conventional side. So we have some cases where people own 20 properties and you can still do a DSCR. So that might be the other profile of somebody that might do a DSCR program. Another example of a client that we helped recently was someone who bought a few properties within the last year. 
So they didn't have many financials on record. And so that's why the DSCR program was a great solution for them because of, again, documentation purposes. I don't know. It, Anita, do you have anything else to add on the DSCR? Program? Not specific to property types, but are you leaving the program? Are you going on to your next program? I am for right now. We'll go back to it. But the DSCR is definitely a big one. Another strategy as far as converting more or gaining more list biz, property investor clients is a listing leveraging strategy. So we do encourage with anybody that you guys might have that might be thinking about selling to encourage them to do a free planning session with our team because we will go over with them some other expanded options. And what I mean by that is the usual knee-jerk reaction for real estate owners is, okay, I'm going to sell my property. I might want to sell my property and then shovel all the money into the next property. That's part of the challenge right now with the current market is that these people are saying, wait a second, I got a two something interest rate. And now you're telling me I should go spend more money and buy something and my interest rates five or 6%. I don't want to do that. That's going to not make sense for me. When we do these planning sessions with them, we look at that potential net proceeds amount. And now we start strategizing. I'm sure many of you do with them, but we dive into the opportunities that could be hidden within the equity that's trapped in their property. So we look at it and we say, okay, you're going to make, I'm just going to use $100,000 of net proceeds. You take that $100,000 and instead of putting it all into the new property, let's maybe put $30,000 into the down payment on the new property, new primary residence, maybe another thirty dollars or forty dollars into an investment property or two. And then the remaining amount, maybe that they put it into some other type of investment strategy. Maybe it's some kind of portfolio that they're going to have a financial planner maybe manage for them or some kind of insurance products that they could possibly do. So we really encourage that part of the conversation. And now you might take somebody that went from just being a regular average everyday homeowner, and now we are creating a wealth building strategy for them in these free planning sessions for them. And the other thing to really point out with that is you will get people that'll be like, oh, no, I can't. I don't want people calling at two in the morning with a clogged toilet. But we have resources that we can connect people to, as I'm sure many of you do too, for property managers to help with that. We really encourage that kind of with this listing strategies, having that conversation with these pop property owners to show that wealth building opportunity. We have a bunch of really awesome calculators, just as a side note on some of our websites, as far as showing that opportunity cost. If any of you want to see that, we're happy to show that to you to show them like, here's what could be done with that hundred thousand. If they would, if you'd turn that current property owner into not just a property owner, but also a property investor as well. And that's really the power of it. And again, that wealth creation piece of it. The other component here is usually most of the people in our area and our markets are in when selling, getting a capital gain exemption that they can now pass along to these other opportunities that they're looking to do and kind of somewhat creating a tax shelter in that case. The next program I want to share a little bit more about here are hard money loans, or we have our kind of defined program called our fix and flip program. So if I'm sure all of you probably know of people or even yourselves have situations of people where they're like, hey, I want to buy a piece of real estate, put some money into it and sell it for more. Like clearly that's the whole game of real estate, right? And, and not always live in the property. We have some solutions for that. Usually how it's structured, these are short-term loans, typically a six-month term, and you're usually paying the interest at the end. There are different scales as far as what amount the person is putting into the property in regards to what amount the end result would be for the loan to value amount. Like some people have to put in a little bit more as far as a down payment on these, depending on their level of experience with flipping properties. But it really is a game changer. Like I was mentioning before, the gentleman who he really started off with almost no real estate and within a short period of time 
had a couple hundred thousand dollars of gains from flipping a few properties in a short period of time. And by the way, he was 21 years old when he was doing this. We have a, you know, now he's a little bit older. He's 23 years old, but has almost $2 million in real estate that's building a huge amount of wealth for him. Really helping a lot of different people. We do work with a lot of clients, investor clients that have done a flip. They're in a hard money loan. And now they're like, uh oh, what do I do next? And maybe they're deciding now I could actually hang on to it and not sell it for the flip. Maybe they're doing it for tax reasons. And now they're going to do it to be a long term hold. So we do have solutions built out that we can pay that off with a more traditional solution, like we're talking about here, and do it that way. There are other options too, as far as everybody hears about the Burr method, which would be refinancing after so much time to gain, get that gain of the increase in the value. Another one I want to highlight here today is the bridging strategy. Now, clearly that's one of the concerns and hesitations for people that own real estate. They'll say, hey, these all sound great, but how do I get from this property I have now to the next one you're telling me I have to sell it, but I don't want to be homeless. I don't, I don't want all the unknowns. So we have a number of different solutions that allow bridging. The bridging solutions vary where some of them allow that ability. Most all of them allow the ability to buy before selling. These are structured in all sorts of different formats. So we usually uncover this when we do the free planning session with that real estate owner. Some of them are where we take the whole entire works of the existing property and encompass the new one and put it all, wrap it all into one to get the whole end result to happen faster and with less issues and concerns. In other cases, we're modifying multiple things. We might be extracting money out of the current real estate with some type of temporary loan, moving it to the next one. And maybe we already are sitting on some money to go start buying that investment property or two as well. This can be very powerful because obviously we all know in today's market, you have timing is everything. You can't sit there and say, oh, hey, here, I'm going to put an offer today on this property, but I have a home sale contingency. Doesn't really work almost all properties these days. So it really can be helpful for a lot of these individuals, again, that we're trying to help, whether it's a regular homeowner that now might be thinking about being a property investor. The bridging strategies and really many of these things can also help that person that might be selling a primary that now wants to become a property investor and move into a two unit. I know we have a couple of clients at the moment that are doing that to better maximize their wealth creation with real estate. The next one to share, and again, if anyone has any questions, I know I'm moving through a lot of stuff here. The next one to share is the bank statement loan programs who this is for, why it's powerful, and really what is it. Again, it's a matter of that client that comes to you that says, hey, I want to buy a piece of real estate, but guess what? I just started my business a year and a half ago or two years ago, and my accountant is phenomenal, and I pay very little in taxes, or I show not much income on my tax return, but I have a successful business. So what that allows us to do is not look at the tax returns. We're looking at the last 12 or 24 months bank statements, and we're creating a cash flow validation off of what they're doing regular deposits in. Ideally, we want to see a business tax, business bank account, but we also will work with personal bank accounts. There, there's quite a few business owners that we work with. If they're like a one-man shop kind of situation, and they're using their personal bank account as their business account, that can be acceptable. But if we can create that flow of cash that way, we can qualify them potentially off of that. And that's really a huge thing because as we all know, the sooner we can have somebody buy real estate, the better, even in worst case times, properties appreciate at, a, at some type of level, typically historically. So that really helps tremendously. Again, who it's helping. A lot of times it's, you you know, it's a self-employed person. Once in a while we'll have somebody that's 1099 or commission-based that this can be helpful for. 
because again, they might be writing off a lot of the expenses, but they have a good income coming in or there's other moving parts that aren't reflected on their tax return. The property types on this really follow similar to the other ones. It can be actually personal residence and pro investment properties, single family up to eight units if again, it's paired with the DSCR program, condos, short-term rentals, LLCs. And again, you can have full owners of it. Oops, I wanna go one back one more. Anita, you were talking earlier on this program or even okay. actually in general about the ITINs. Yep. The reason why this one is so valuable, and I have to pause because this is all awesome information, but some of the takeaways for you guys shouldn't necessarily be the what's, it's more the who's like Mark's highlighting. And this particular program highlights a who that oftentimes can't be helped, but has enormous amount of potential. So aliens, items, in conventional financing, you legally can only have one property in your name financed if you are not a social security carrying borrower. In these DSCRs and statements programs, they can have multiple and I can't, that's huge value and opens up an enormous pool of investors. Like I said, your takeaway should be you're hashtagging property investors, foreign property investors, Milwaukee property investors, reloads to Milwaukee, statement savings, or excuse me, statement loans, short-term rental loans. So you're attracting those clients that you, they can't walk into their bank and get these types of loans because they're just not available to them. We're highlighting resources that make you more attractive to the bigger buying pool because we found a way to get it done. Thanks, Anita. Yeah, so definitely all those different opportunities that are uncovered situations that we can dive into. The regular go-to solution, like I first had highlighted the conventional loan options, which again would be securitized by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Anita was mentioning the there are limitations, the opportunity on it, like why would somebody do that as the go-to option? This usually does have the lesser interest rate attached to it. So that's usually the go-to place. And the terms would be usually a 30-year fixed if I just realized I failed to mention that on the other kind of expanded programs like the DFCR and the bank statement programs, we have options on those though too that are 30 year fixed, but also 40 year fixed yep. options. So with the 40 year fixed options, again, is not conventional, but the other ones that can create a, another opportunity that people don't otherwise have with some of the other solutions, but conventional loans, a great place. Like I said, we usually have many of our investor clients starting off with these as a solution. And eventually, depending on the limitations of their documentation, we expand out to the other ones. All right. So just another reminder for those of you that joined on here late, because we have a handful. If you haven't done it yet, text us here to the 262-383-4454. And we want you to send in your name and home address and email, and we'll be picking winners here. So moving on to our other types of strategies for creating more property investors. Keep in mind- Horrible picture, Mark. She's only got 90 bucks there. <laughs> hey, come on. Don't beat up the designer. <laughs> um, with commercial loans is another category that a lot of times come into the mix with property investors. And we have our network internally and externally that we work very closely with. And that's one of our other tools of success to get a lot of things done. So we do have situations where we will be part of the transaction, but we might also be doing part of it with one of our commercial lending partners, which are scattered all over, mostly Wisconsin, to do that. And it ranges, by the way, too, not just residential investors. This can also be office buildings, strip malls. Multi-use. Yeah, multi-use properties. Not that our commercial lenders love bars yeah. and restaurants, but they will do those too that we have access to that as well. Another, whoops, went too fast. Sorry. There we go. Another kind of plug to put out there beyond what we have internally, we also work with a lot of other local banks and credit unions and finance companies to get 
other types of creative lending done for that person that, again, is a property investor or just people in general. Sometimes that might be one of our outlets to redo a car loan or. Oh, yeah. One in five we send to redo a car loan so that we can get more buying power for them in you. (laughs) Yeah. So there's a lot of friends in the lending that we will will do to make that happen. And, or if there's some kind of risk factor too, we have different outlets that can help to maximize that. In addition to the programs I laid out there, we have some other internal proprietary programs. One of them that I want to just share a little bit more about at the moment is our all-in-one program. So I have a video clip I'm going to share here just it's real quick here, about eight minutes long for you guys to check out. The all-in-one program has really been unique. We've had it around for now eight year, or 18 years, and I have a little clip here to share with you guys here to see a little bit more on that. So check this out and see more about it. Today here, we are excited to have join us Dave Herps, who is our vice president of our program, the All-in-One Loan. And uh, Dave, welcome here to talk a little bit more in detail about the All-in-One program. Can you share a little (laughs) bit more detail about the program? Yeah, absolutely, Mark. It's as we, it's a very a dynamic mortgage product. We really restructured the way money is used to pay down the mortgage to help benefit home buyers. And specifically, it's a 30 year draw home equity line of credit. The only one in America that I'm actually still familiar with it. It's a first lien position. It's used to purchase real estate. You could also refinance out of a current mortgage, but it allows customers to put money in and control their balance over 30 years. Uh, And all that money is kept liquid. They could actually use those dollars right back out any given day, 24-7. Their money over the 30-year term is available to them. But what makes this loan even more powerful is that it also comes with a linked zero balance sweep checking account. And what that term means is it's just essentially a personal bank account. It's a checking account, literally transactional, meaning that we consolidated banking and borrowing for your home in one place, one dynamic tool. And it just simply allows people to use the flow of their income and the management of those dollars through a checking account to help reduce their mortgage faster. And that helps them save money in interest payments, but it also builds equity property significantly more rapidly. Wow. Yeah. And so today at our workshop, we are talking about ways that this program could be powerful for some of these clients that we're helping to maybe sell their starter home and go to that next property. Can you share your thoughts on like how this can be really an effective tool for those situations? Yeah, indeed. It's, it's, we like to repeat the mantra, as you're aware, that this truly is designed to be the last loan you'd ever need on a property. And I think that get, given the, the topic at hand here, which is buying up, <clears throat> really going from a starter home to that next home that you really want to live in and maybe raise a family in and really remain there for much of your adult life, maybe even retire there. Wouldn't it be great if we could put in place the last loan you would ever need? I think the traditional management of mortgage debt is, is such where we recycle mortgage debt pretty routinely about every five years. And if you think about it, that really impedes progress with home ownership goals for those people that want to transition from maybe their first purchase to to a new purchase. uh, And again, grow their family and really stabilize themselves in a specific community or neighborhood. That process of doing that is really impeded along the way with the way mortgages are designed. The all-in-one loan is a product designed for that person, makes the purchase of that real estate easy. Once you have it, you are accelerating the balance reduction and you're actually reducing your exposure to interest payments. And again, that builds equity in the property more rapidly. It's ultimately for those people that want to transition to the home that they see themselves in for a prolonged period of time. And so they can take greater control of the mortgage debt and live more flexibly and financially independent. We have a great tool for our prospective individuals that we want to see that this is a great fit for. Do you mind maybe walking us through that simulator so we can see real, more realistic example of what the results might end up being? 
for somebody? Absolutely. Typical? Absolutely. Let me, absolutely. Uh, that, that is, it's an interactive comparison simulator. And let me share my screen really quickly and actually show you that and provide you a real life scenario. Mark, the simulation that I ran is a typical customer that would be purchasing a property at purchase price of $375,000. Um, they're financing 80% of that. So they're putting their 20% down. The initial loan balance would be 300,000. Now this simulator is a comparison tool. We want to make sure that when we put this product in place for people, that it's actually going to be a benefit to them. So we compare it to a traditional loan that they would otherwise put in place. In this case, I've compared our all-in-one loan to a traditional 30-year fixed at three and a quarter percent very good rate. And we may not see that for very long or may not see that actually today as this video is being played. But you can see right away that the typical home buyer who is cash flow positive, a bit more disciplined and established with their finances on a monthly basis, how consolidating their banking with the mortgage itself helps to reduce their mortgage balance faster and therefore save a tremendous amount of mortgage interest. And I'll give you some of this data on screen here, just in case your audience can't see it. But what we're looking at is that the all-in-one loan would have them paid off in 8.5 years or 102 months compared to 360 months. So significantly faster. The grand savings that generates is over, it's nearly $113,000 in mortgage interest that is saved. That means that we're building equity in that property more rapidly. People have more money to spend. And if you really think about it, Mark, I think it's worth mentioning that creates subsequent opportunities for that homeowner, right? So if they get a better mortgage in place that helps them achieve these goals with the debt and savings, therefore they are positioned to be able to buy again sooner or renovate the property when they want to, or maybe start buying real estate, investing in real estate and short-term rentals. So clearly a better product, more efficiently engineered to help people power down that debt and save a ton of money in time. So it's a phenomenal tool. And again, it's called our interactive simulator. And just for everybody that's here with us today, if you wanted to get more information or have any of our team help you with seeing more information on the simulator or the all-in-one program, we would be happy to talk with you more about it. Any final words, Dave, that you put in place on the program? I think that we've clearly highlighted the benefit for home buyers and homeowners in general. Mortgage debt is an impediment. It's an obstruction to, to all the things that we want to and need to fund throughout our lives. I think I would just only add that this is a phenomenal tool for real estate agents in general, any real estate professional to talk with their customers about that would serve to benefit their business as well, right? Because if we're helping to save our mutually shared clients a tremendous amount of time and money, then of course our production can benefit from that. I think that, I think that is obvious, but I just wanted to point that out. This is a phenomenal tool. It's a conversation starter for real estate professionals. It's definitely an amazing program. And I know we've had it out for a long time here since I think around 2005. So we have proven cases and of times over that this has been a success for. So again, Dave, thanks for joining us here and sharing more information on it. We really appreciate your time spent here with us today. My pleasure. Thank you, Mark. I really right. appreciate that program for a number of reasons, but especially when you're talking investor specific all of the podcasts talk about self-driven 401ks and retirements because they're using their retirement now to generate more income. This all-in-one program is so coupled with that train of thought that they're paying these properties off, but then they have 30 years with a line of credit with effectively no annual fee, no rate on them, but they can act at a moment's notice when the opportunity strikes, when you find that opportunity for them, it's just, it's the way we're shifting. It's the way this generation of professionals that will be your buyers are shifting. And this is at a very high level. I mean, we went to college. Okay. Let's not be ridiculous. I went to college like 30 years ago now, but anyway, they're graduating and in their high level education at Purdue, this is exactly the school of thought that these graduates are leaving with. They are making those dollars work for them from the moment they start making them before they're even paying back those student loans. So 
yeah. it is important to stay abreast of these types of programs because they are searching for them. Yeah. And what we utilize it on for our property investor clients quite a lot too, because what happens with a lot of people is you have a quite a large chunk of money that sits in bank accounts, very idle, like all the time, security deposits, a lot of property investors of ours, their rent checks themselves, they collect them on the first, but then they might not need to actually make the payment on that loan until the 15th. So the all-in-one really becomes very effective because those 15 days for just their rent rolls to be sitting there earning nothing in their favor, it's helping the bank out. This helps to be eliminating or reducing compounding of interest for that chunk of time is why it's very powerful and very effective. Yeah, just like I said, that's another awesome strategy we utilize for property investor clients. Something we didn't mention in the, the little interview there is we also compute a an effective interest rate of return. And just a real quick story of a client of ours out in Madison that we just closed on their property about a week and a half ago. Their effective interest rate that they're going to be achieving in today's market with even where the rates are is 1.63% is what this and they're a younger couple, by the way, like I think they're like 24, 25 years old, and they'll have their house paid off in a little less than five years. And now they actually were connected with us by their financial advisor. It like always sends all their clients to us because their financial advisor knows that's going to help them build more wealth to be able to, like you said, Anita, create more because they're paying less in company and interest. So another great tool, like I said, just to highlight real quick here before we wrap up and open up for questions, a couple of our other proprietary programs, our home funded program, some of you have seen this already, but if not, that's our, again, we're the only in the country, only lender in the country that has such a program where we're allowing people to do crowd fundraising. So property investor clients, some of them are sharing this actually with their tenants and have a strategy of having tenants becoming homeowners, which is something we can talk at a different time on, but that is a tool that we're using for that. Um, but wait, 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 the value to you guys is that is one of the free vehicles for marketing for you. So if your tenant or you get on with their tenant as the realtor partner, every time they share it, every time it moves out into Facebook is where the platform is. So it's a meta platform, your picture goes with it as the agent and your contact information. There is no charge. There's no $2,500 a month or ridiculous Zillow fees. So that's the importance to you guys, another free vehicle for marketing. Yeah. And another thing about it, it is a crowd fundraising platform, which again is the only of its kind, but yeah, we have a lot of agents utilizing that and it's getting a great amount of exposure Two other ones, just a sample again of some of the other in-house proprietary things that we have. The List and Lock program is really becoming popular as some of these homes right now that are getting listed in certain price ranges are not moving as fast. This is a tool to be able to advertise from the seller's perspective, a below market interest rate can be reserved in lieu of doing a price cut on the listing. So we have a lot of, we have a lot of builders actually are using this across the country. This has to do with behind the scenes deal with our ability to be a direct lender and doing securitization ourselves. But now we've opened it up to the regular homeowner, not just new construction clients. So just a really quick example on this is uh, one of our people did this for their seller. They, instead of having a buyer come out and get their own loan at, let's say, six and a quarter, they're able to advertise and reserve in already today for the next 60 days, an interest rate at 4.25%. And we give them, the, we give you and your buyer, the, or your seller, the marketing materials, they have, they do have to work with us to get the loan done, but we can also make sure that all of that's done very seamlessly for them. So that is a phenomenal program. Like I said, just recently we rolled it out for the actual general property owners. Again, ties into the whole thing that we're talking about today. And just a side note, like 
This is going to be great for expired listings, obviously, too. And then our rate rebound program is a special program for, again, that concern about higher cost of money. It allows the individuals that we're helping today to pretty much have a free refinance up to five years out. In the marketplace, a lot of different lenders are doing programs like this, but we took all of the other ones out there and we said, hey, how can we beef it up to even be better? So allowing it to be five years out and also giving additional credits off. So they, they really have very little to almost no cost when doing a refinance is the cool part about that program. We do have a question, Mark, I sure. believe it was specific to the list and lock, and you had referenced the rate reduction. Is that an intro rate for a year or two, or is that the lifetime rate? For the list and lock? Yes, that's a permanent interest rate that they're reserving in on there for the person. It, it pairs with actually your standard conventional VA FHA type programs. We do have one of the options that gets featured like on a 10-year program, but it gives them the ability to get below market interest rates compared to also out there right now our temporary buy-downs that are also seller-funded, but the dynamic that gets a little different there is if the markets start changing, that seller now, even if they're offering up a seller-funded reduction, nothing's guaranteed or anything. Where the list and lock, that seller can actually today go in and they're getting a confirmation of certificate that actually is a rate lock backed by our capital markets division. So it is what we call for, forward interest rate commitment. Again, very commonly used with our builder clients that we're now opening up to the general property owner, which is a really awesome thing. And I just have a quick last screen here. I think that pretty much will end the general information stuff. But for those of you that haven't used us in the past, obviously, we'd like to work with you more. But why use us? Our team here, we are locally, all of us. But our parent company, CMG Home Loans, we are a national mortgage provider, but we're the largest privately owned mortgage banking firms. And with the ability to be a direct lender on most program types, it really allows us to do all kinds of these wonderful things that we were mentioning here today that helps you get more property investor clients, but also just any clients in general. The fast closings are one of our flagship things that we do on most of the programs, and that's helping tremendously in this current low inventory market where we're really at the top of the list when it comes to our offers getting accepted for the clients because we can go in and do a a 16, 18, 21 day close. I think actually what two or three of our closings tomorrow are because of this reason that we could go in and go up to bat and have a very solid commitment to say, hey, we're going to close this very fast, way faster than any other lender out there. Definitely keep that in mind. I just want to open up for the last few minutes here. Any questions that anybody has, if you want to put it in the chat or Anything? I know we covered a lot of different stuff here today. Anything at all that you can think of, everybody? Covered everything, apparently, Mark. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, one one question that we do get often from people is like, how do they even start? As far as a property investor, we have that conversation a lot with people. And again, going back to the whole free planning session. If you guys have anyone in your networks that they say, I want to get more into this. How do I, where do I start? We do that free planning session with them. And that ultimately allows us to then navigate and customize a plan for them is really where that goes. We've got some good questions coming in here, Mark. Do you want me to read them or do you? Yeah, go ahead. Read them. I can't so, see. <laughs> okay, good. Which of the programs that we mentioned has the 40-year payment option? Sure. So the 40-year the amortization is going to be most commonly used on the DSCR program. And the structure of that, that there's multiple formats, but it's a 40-year amortization fixed for, 30, fixed for 40 years with the ability to have the first 10 years interest only. Now, I just did this with one of our clients the other day. 
because the interest rates as you go out in longer terms and there's less documentation, the rates are a little bit more. Just to give you an example, it's usually one to two percent more than the standard conventional rates. So initially, some people see that and they're like, whoa, but with the 40 year amortization and the first 10 years being interest only, we did the payment side by side for this individual not that long ago. And it actually was a very similar payment for them in reference to that cash flow that they're guaranteed to get that next 10 years, which is the usual hold time, by the way, for most property investors. So now this person can go in, have less documentation, you know, actually leverage up a little bit better because of that 40 year term and the 10 years interest only. So yeah, the DSCR, the bank statement program can do that. The fix and flip is an interest at the end of the term program. So not on that one. So any I think other questions? that was it in there. Awesome. Again, thank you all for joining us. If you guys don't currently follow our team, definitely there's lots of resources. Check that out. We'll have them in the recorded post that we'll put out there later today. And again, if you haven't done it yet, text in to the 262-383-4454 for prizes. Text your name, home address, and email so we can have you guys win. Also, another last quick plug. If you aren't currently part of our Real Estate Rockstar Facebook group, definitely join that as well because we have a lot of great tools and information on there along with weekly tips, rate forecast, market condition forecast from a lending standpoint that a lot of people found, find very useful. So again, thank you guys all for joining us. And if you guys have other questions afterwards, feel free to reach out and we can always talk one-on-one -on -one too here. So thank you all for joining us. Have an Thanks awesome everyone. day. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.